Hi, it's Angie from Sunny Side Up Living Blog, and today I'm sharing a heritage recipe, my mom's recipe for chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. Let's get cracking. Hi everyone, today I am really happy to share a recipe that was my mom's chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. Um, looking at the old recipe card, I love the fact that the, the letters and the words on here are all faded and smeared with probably old butter and you name it. Um, but there's something about a recipe that's passed down that's just really special. So I'm just excited to share it with you today. As far as tips go with this recipe, uh, follow the ingredients. We actually are going to use the butter at room temperature and the eggs at room temperature. Those are important tips when you're baking regardless. Um, you always get the best results when you do that. And then the other thing is this recipe calls for nuts as being optional. I usually don't put nuts in cookies, but today I'm actually going to use up some sliced almonds I had on hand from another recipe that I made, a salad recipe that I shared uh, a couple weeks ago. So let's get going. To make these homemade chocolate chip oatmeal cookies, start by adding one cup of unsalted butter at room temperature to the bowl of a mixer. Add one cup of sugar, one cup of firmly packed brown sugar, two eggs at room temperature, two tablespoons of milk, and two teaspoons of vanilla. Mix on low and fold together with the help of a spatula until the butter is mixed in thoroughly with the sugars, milk, and vanilla. Now add two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. Mix the dry ingredients in with a spatula or wooden spoon. Next, add two cups of quick cooking rolled oats, one bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and optionally, one cup of nuts of your choice. With a spatula or wooden spoon, thoroughly mix these ingredients in. Scoop out the batter in rounded teaspoon size and place on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or a sulpat liner. Bake at 350 degrees for 12 minutes or until lightly brown. This recipe makes six dozen cookies so you can share or freeze them for later. That's it for today. For more baking recipes like this one that are simple, easy, and delicious, click subscribe.